Today, I'm going to give you the critical performance max optimizations you need to be running in 2024 and beyond in Google Ads. This is part one of a two-part series. First five today, next five will be in my next video. At my agency Big Flare, we make literally millions of dollars from performance max Google Ads for our clients. Let's look at last year, and then let's scroll down here, and as you can see, just under $18 million in revenue from Performance Max alone this past year add a return on ad spend above 4x. The Performance Max optimization tips I am about to give you are exactly what we do right now in 2024 to get these results for clients. So let's dive right in. Number one on the list is to use new customer acquisition bidding to get more new customers from Google Ads. A brand new customer for your business is much more valuable than just selling an additional thing to an additional customer. Both types of customers are good, of course we want both, but because the new customer is worth more to you, you should be bidding higher for them in Google Ads to reflect their higher value. Under a standard Performance Max setup, you are going to be bidding the same for old and new customers. Not great, because this does not reflect the fact that new customers are worth more to you, and this does not get as many new customers as you could do otherwise. If you configure it so that the system knows to bid more when the customer is new, then you will bring in more new customers and rely less on repeat customers. To set this up, head into your campaign settings. There you will see the option to bid higher for new customers. The standard recommendation from Google is to bid more for new customers within the existing campaign by adding extra conversion value when the system detects that the customer is new. However, this way of doing it presents a problem. It adds fake revenue to your conversion value column, which kind of messes up your reporting a bit. The better way to do it, in my opinion, is to duplicate your campaign. You can do this easily with the copy and paste function in Google Ads. Name your duplicate campaign the same as the original, but just add new customers at the end. In the new campaign, head into the settings, click the option to optimize for new customers, and then select the option to only bid for new customers. Make sure to tell the system to bid higher here than in the other campaign. I usually recommend using a target ROAS in your Performance Max campaign. So under the target ROAS, the way you make the system bid higher on new customers is to set a lower target ROAS in this campaign. Once you've got your new campaign, which is labeled new customers, and you've set that setting to target only new customers, and you've got higher bids in this campaign by having a lower target ROAS, you are good to go. Let the campaign run, collect conversions, and optimize it the same way you would any other Performance Max campaign. Number two on my list, use search themes the right way in Performance Max. Search themes are a new and powerful feature that was added at the end of last year. Most people do not understand how to actually use search themes properly yet. You do not need to add in search keywords that Google Ads already knows to target. Google already knows to target keywords that are in your product title, product feed, and landing page. The whole purpose of search themes is to allow you to target things that are not already in the information you have given to Google Ads. For example, let's say Father's Day is coming up and your product is very popular as a Father's Day gift. You might not have the words Father's Day gift on your landing page or product title, so this would be the perfect time to tell the system to target this keyword by adding it as a search theme. Another example is if you've just launched a new product or offering and you don't have a lot of previous performance data on the new offer. In this case, if you don't add a search theme, Google might never bid high enough to actually test out the new offer, as it has no data on it. Adding the search theme will be like telling Google, hey, here's this new thing I'm offering, please go out and grab me traffic for it. To add search themes, go into your Performance Max campaign and click on the Asset Groups tab. Click to edit your signals. Near the top, you will see the search themes area where you will be able to add up to 25 search themes. You only get 25 shots at this, so make the most of it. Number three on my list, you need to fill up your product titles with all the best, most relevant and high volume keywords for your products in Performance Max. This is not a new recommendation on my list. I said the same thing last year and the year before that and the year before that. It's never stopped being important and it is still just as important today. You get up to 150 characters of space for your product titles in your shopping feed. Use as much of that space as possible and make sure that you have every relevant and high volume keyword that people could search for included in your title. You can also include important variant information such as color or size if that is something that is typically important for users in your niche. 
but the priority should be on stuffing in as many of the keywords that people actually search for as possible. Go into Google's Keyword Planner tool, select Discover New Keywords, punch in three to five of your bullseye keywords for your product. From the results page, select all the keywords that are relevant to your product and prioritize them based on average monthly searches. The more, the better. Now you have a list of keywords to fit into your product title. Google prioritizes words at the front of your title. So the higher the volume of the word, the closer to the front of your title it should ideally be. By the way, if you would like to get the kinds of results that my team and I at Big Flair got for this client, or even this client, then head on over to the link in the description below. Using the form on that page, you can get in touch with me and schedule in a free PPC strategy session. We'll hop on the phone, discuss your challenges and dive into actionable strategies that you can use to grow your revenue with PPC. All right, so optimization number four. Make sure to optimize your product type field. This is a super important performance max optimization that helps Google understand which keywords to show your products for. After the product title, our tests have shown that the product type is the most important place in your feed to optimize for keyword richness. The product type can be four levels deep and for each level you want to put whatever keyword you want. I recommend starting with more generic keywords, keywords that aren't already in your product title then zooming into the product level. You can see your product type by clicking into the products tab, then clicking on the product itself, and then under product attributes, you will see product type. Now, in this example of an account that I'm auditing for another business, they have not used a great product type. It's not four levels deep and it's not as keyword rich as it could be. A better one would be clothing and accessories, shirts and tops, men's shirts, button-up shirts. Number five on my list, add negative keywords. You may not know this, but you can actually now add negative keywords to your Performance Max campaign in Google Ads, and you have two main options for doing this. Option one, you can add negative keywords at the account level, and Performance Max will respect these negatives. In your Google Ads account, go into the settings, then account settings. Find the negative keywords section and add keywords in here to neg them out from your entire account, including Performance Max. Option two, you can request for a Google support rep to manually add in negative keywords specifically to your Performance Max campaign. This is a more useful option if you have keywords you want to neg from Pmax, but not necessarily from the whole account. To do this, access this Pmax change request form, then fill it in. There's a link in the description below this video to take you straight to that form. Fill out the necessary fields, then download the template file. After you fill in the template file, upload it back to the form and hit submit. This is part one of a two-part video series. To check out my next five Performance Max optimization tips, then click this video right up here. And if this video has been useful for you, then be sure to subscribe. I post each week about Google Ads, paid traffic, and e-commerce marketing, so stay tuned.